more now to get you on the Jackson family feud. Catherine Jackson, the matriarch here, gave ABC News an exclusive interview of sorts from the Tucson Resort where she was staying Wednesday afternoon, seeming to clear up rumors that she'd been kidnapped by her own children. Take a peek. I'm here today to let everybody know that I'm, very, I'm fine and I'm here with my children and my children would never do a thing like that, hold me against my will. It's very stupid for people to think that. Well, it's very strange, too, yeah. what we just saw. We want to talk to the reporter from our Tucson station, Kagan, who sat down with the Jacksons for the interview. Aaron Brackett, we welcome you to Good Afternoon America. Good to be with you guys. So I understand that you were not allowed to ask any questions, but we saw the interview of sorts, the statement. What was it like behind the scenes? It, it, it appears very strange. You know, it was a little bit strange, actually. We were there for about two hours, and all that was out of this entire encounter was about four minutes of video that you guys have seen. Well, we showed up, and I actually conversed with Catherine for about 15 minutes. You know, anything from the weather to the Tucson monsoon to uh, the lunch that they had just had. She was very, very friendly, but it was about only her that I saw for some time. She then disappeared, and then other family members came out to make it very, very clear that she was just to read a statement and that was going to be it there were to be no questions and I even talked to Janet about that I said can we just ask her a couple pre-approved questions that they had seen she said absolutely not uh, seeming to just uh, toss fuel onto this fire mm -hmm. here Aaron did she appear I mean we can see the video but did she appear up close and personal to be in good health uh, to me, she did, actually. Those 15 minutes I was talking to her when I first arrived, she was actually standing and walking around, and we were talking around this villa. And uh, she did sit down a little bit later. Her family members did kind of usher her to take a seat, but she kept saying, no, I'm fine. I can stand. I'm doing just fine. All right, so when the Jacksons joined her, what was the feel in that room? Did she seem relaxed? Did it seem like she was doing this of her own volition? Give us a sense. Actually, Catherine seemed real relaxed. Before the cameras were turned on, we continued our conversation, just very general conversation. It was more Janet and Jermaine that were a little bit more tightly wound about the situation. And as Catherine read the statement, she did stumble on some parts and also got a little bit off topic. She had about two pages written down, handwritten in a notebook, got a little off topic, and that's when uh, her other family members kind of stepped in over her shoulder mm -hmm. and uh, helped her out, helped her keep on focus. Help is one word for it. Aaron Brackett, again. Again, from our affiliate there in Tucson, KGUN. We appreciate your time today, Aaron. Absolutely. Thank you, guys. Uh, we want to welcome our two guests now. First, uh, from People Magazine, reporter Carlos Greer and the editor-in-chief of HollywoodLife.com, Bonnie Fuller. And, uh, Bonnie, there are certainly a lot of ways to categorize what we saw first this morning and again right there. What is your reaction to it all? Completely and utterly bizarre. Mm -hmm. She looked very uncomfortable. Why was she reading from a statement? I mean, I think she doesn't want to get half her family in deep trouble. Right. She, she's trying to protect them, right. but I think she knows that they've done something wrong. So I think she, I, I think she wasn't looking like a hostage, but, <laughs> but, but she was very guarded and they looked like they were guarding her. Do you think those were her words or written for her? I think they were written for her. But I think they're words of protection for her kids. Okay, so the words of protection, and yet we have this other generation of Jacksons here, Carlos, the three children. It had been Paris taking to Twitter. Now it's Prince, again, posting what appear to be text message exchanges between the family, implicating, in theory, Janet Jackson here mm -hmm. for something. What, what do you know? Well, that's the thing. These, these Michael Jackson's kids have played a prominent role in all of this, mm -hmm. and they're reacting. Mm -hmm. uh, he sent a text message to his family members, Janet asking to speak to my grandmother now because he was worried about her, and Janet responded, don't let them, please. So if you believe the siblings, they don't want them to speak to them because Catherine went away to this spa to get rest and to, not, to close off communication with other people. But the children are saying no. You're lying to me, and now you're lying about me because here's a text message, here's the proof that you would not let me speak to my grandmother, even though a few days ago you came to the house and said right. it was okay so. to speak to her. Again, we've learned, again, within the hour that their temporary guardian, uh, Tito Joe Jackson, mm -hmm. uh, their cousin, have now reunited the three kids with the grandmother. We'll stay on top of it. Very quickly, we have you both here. You're, uh, what do we, what's the latest here uh, with the... Uh, 
imbroglio between Kristen Stewart and, uh, and her well, relationship with Nicely Lucas said. <laughs> well, Josh, here's the latest. People we learned exclusively that Rob, he has left the house that they shared together in L.A. Uh, he's very upset. He worshipped the ground that she walked Aww. on. He was really in love with her, so he's very disappointed. She's remorseful, and apparently this was a lapse in judgment on her part, and she's very, very sorry, but... Does it right now? It doesn't yeah. look like they're going to be getting back together anytime soon. Final note: Do you think they'll get back together, Bonnie? You know everything. <laughs> <laughs> I do. I think um, what we've heard at Hollywood Life is that he's angry, he's frustrated, and he's humiliated, which of course he should be. Mm -hmm. But he loves her, and they have met. It was very awkward. I think she'll get him back because he does love her, and he's been in love with her for years. All right, you heard it here <laughs> first, everybody. Bonnie, Carlos, we thank you so much for your insight.